Director of the Fry Fall TV in association with Matt Cleese, Jim Marbella. I'm in Leeds at the press conference with me. I've got Martin J. Ward ahead of his rematch. How are you feeling, Martin? All right? Yeah, great, James. Yeah, great. Good, good. First and foremost, talk to me a little bit about the last fight with Maxi Hughes. Quite controversial and a little bit disappointing in your in your point that the, the, the headbutt wasn't wasn't counted as a headbutt. Can you talk me through it a little bit? Yeah, of course, yeah. Went into the fight um, 100% confident, as I am as every fight. And uh, things were going okay in the first round. Was getting into me rhythm and that, and I got smacked with a headbutt in the second round, put me over. And just saw it went a bit tits up. I got counted as a, a knockdown as well, like a shot. And uh, it was a heavy bang. Coming back into the third then, trying to get back into me rhythm and that, a bit of boxing and that. And um, I slipped out, I think it was the third or the fourth, and my foot slipped on the apron as well. And I got counted as that, so I'm like four, four rounds into the fight, and I'm 10 8 down on two rounds, so I had to go chasing it and stuff. And it went a bit, it's a bit of an ugly fight to be honest. Um, but you know, I'm here to, to put, set the record straight. I can see the look on, of disbelief on your face when the second one was counted, and it sort of seemed to drain the life out of you for a couple of seconds till you, you realised what you had to do to yeah, go and Yeah, of course, yeah, right. just, just an ugly, ugly situation to be in, to be quite honest. One, one with a headbutt, big wrap of a head from nowhere. And um, first time I've ever been down in my, in my life as well, and and uh, and then the second one, obviously the slip out of the ring, it just just wasn't going my way. And I said, listen, he had a night of his life that night, and Saturday night I'm going to put it all straight. I mean, you've got a chance, as you say, to put it all right. How important is it you, that you now put this right against Maxi Hughes and go on from here? Of course, 100%. There's only one winner on Saturday night, and that's me. I'm taking that belt home. He got put on for a, uh, got arranged for a WBC international title last week as well. But um, which make, it'll make it a bit sweeter the victory on the night. But I didn't need no more motivation than, than my last fight to, to get everything right in this camp. So I've put my uh, body through it. I've uh, put my life on hold basically in this training camp for this fight. And uh, Saturday night I'm going to show everybody what I can do to him. Talking to Max Hughes today, he was under the impression after the first fight. A week later, he got his notice that the, the rematch was going to go ahead. I'm guessing that will be the same for you. I, I asked for the rematch straight away. I got out of the ring and asked for the rematch. And um, it was sort of like a couple of weeks and then the rematch was on like Christmas time I heard so a couple of weeks later yeah and I've been training since Christmas to be honest for this fight and um, yeah no way is he beating me this time no way Would you say this is probably the most important fight of your career so far I know every fight's important but this one on the back of what happened last time Yeah of course yeah every fight's important but listen this is giving me a bit, bit more f a bit like in the training camp and I was excited I was you know I, I've got to prove a point now and this is I'm, I'm out to set a point now on Saturday and, uh, and and do a job. Not only just beat them, I want to do a job on them. Mm. Both got similar records on paper, so it's a very interesting matchup this one. Indeed. Yeah, of course. Cool, he's, he's got. Listen, he's a good fighter. Mm. He's a good southpaw. Um, uh, good professional. He's had. He's had. I think he's had about 14. He's only lost to once. He's had a draw of me as well. And uh, you know, he's a good sound like pro. He's uh, he's there. He's there to fight and stuff. And um, but he hasn't. He hasn't got what I got. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna show uh, the difference on Saturday night at the classes. Will you be a bit more aware, obviously, with him being a South Water, watch the head <coughs> this time around? And of course, listen, I'm 100% focused on this fight now. Maybe last time I was a little bit, you know, in the ring and I was laughing a joke and not, not as much focus. I'm 100%, listen, I'm up here to do a job and that's what's going to happen on Saturday night. Alright, well listen, thank you for talking to IFL TV, Martin. Always a pleasure, sir. I wish you both the best of luck uh, with the fight. And nice one, thanks very much.